Hi YouTube, so now I'm going to show you on how to run PHP and MySQL without installing anything. Yes, you heard it right. So we are going to run PHP and MySQL without installing anything on our computer. So for this tutorial, we are going to use a application called USB Web Server. So it's a lightweight application that you can put on any storage device. You can put it in your hard drive, you can put it in your pen drive or a USB drive or an SD card so that you can use it on any computer without installing anything. So we just need to download the application. So as of this recording, the current version is 8.6. Okay, so we just need to click here to download it. So I already downloaded it beforehand. So here I extracted it in a folder called USB Web Server. So let's open it up. So under this USB Web Server, there's an application called USB Web Server.exe. So we need to double click it to run the server. Okay. So as you can see, there's an Apache MySQL, so it will ask you for this, so you can just allow it. Allow. Okay, for the Apache, let click this. Okay, so it's now running. So under MySQL, so it's also running. So there's under settings so we can change the port of our apache and mysql so for the apache we just change it to 8090 and then for mysql let's just change it to 3399 because i already have a my mysql installed on my laptop and i also have a sump running on my machine so let's just click save so it will ask you to restart the application. Okay. So let's just make sure it's not running here. So we just need to double click this to restart our web server. So as you can see here, our Apache server is now running as well as our MySQL. Since we changed our settings, our Apache is now running under port 8090 and our MySQL is now running under port 3399. Now it's time to test our server. So under general, let's test first our MySQL. So we are going to use a PHP MyAdmin which is also available under on our USB web server so there is a button here PHP my admin so you just need to click this button and then it will start the PHP my admin application okay so as you can see here the default username is root and the password is USBW and there is a port here 3307 but you can just disregard this since we changed this to 3399 already so let's try usb w and then let's click go to log in so as you can see here we have here uh, the database list so for now we only have a test database but we can also create our own so just click date database then create our sample database then create so here, as you can see, our new database is created. So from where we can also add our own tables as well as our store procedures and editing that we can add on our database. So now let's test our PHP. So since we are using the port 8090, so we can try to browse localhost port 8090. Host 1890. So as you can see, our Apache server is running properly. So as, as of this version, the Apache it is using is 2.4.6 and the PHP is 5.4.17. So maybe on the next update, they will also update this version. So 
how are we going to change this application or the default application that is running on this server so let's go back to our folder so under our USB web server folder so we have here a root okay so this is the application that is running here so we can just replace all these files with the application the PHP files from our applications okay so we can just delete this and then I have a sample PHP application so let's just copy it here so here I have here the PHP and also the CSS and JavaScript so let's copy it from here okay so let's go back here and let's just press refresh as you can see our own PHP application is being loaded by our USB web server okay so now let's test our MySQL using another MySQL management tool so for this one I'm going to use Navicat so here let's try to connect to that uh, server so we're going to connect localhost and the port is 3399 and the password is usbw test connection I click ok so i will connect so as you can see here is the database this is the database that we created earlier sample oh, let's try to create new table ID begin sample var car 20 let's save this test table just click ok ok so here we already created our table let's try to refresh our php my admin if it will reflect here Let's browse this so as you can see this is the table that we created using Navicat so meaning we are using this server okay guys so thank you very much for watching so hopefully you learned something from this and hopefully you can use it on your next PHP application thank you very much for watching have a great day